Hello, welcome to Unicorn Princess Tarot. So, ito yung reading natin for water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Take only what resonates, guys. Bale, hindi po ito magre-resonate sa lahat, of course. Hindi ko po talaga makakuha lahat ng energy ng water sign sa mundo. Kung gusto ninyo, pwede kayo magpa-personal reading. Paging Tarot Trader. Ayan, siya yung pwede magbigay ng personal reading sa inyo. And... Uh, ako meron akong astrological reading na pinapa-avail pag nag-end na yung August um, kasi naka-promo pa siya ngayon may kasamang tarot advice anyway para mag-inquire doon ka lang mag-PM sa work ko philippines at gmail.com and wait for my reply ha pag hindi pa ako nagre-reply big sabihin either full pa yung list or yung mga naka-line up or um yeah, yun, yun lang naman ang reason, reason. <laughs> pwedeng full pa yung naka-line up pero once na mag-reply na ako ibig sabihin, open na ako na mag-accept so let's start water sign Oh, King of Cups, this is you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Coins is here. Love reading to guys, ah. Ace of Coins. The Moon and the Fool. The world is at the bottom of the deck. Main energy mo. Oh. You are in love. The moon is here. King of cups. In love ka. And with the page of coins, maybe you want a new beginning. Or could be in love with a person na pwedeng may new beginning sa inyo with regards to money or maybe with regards to your job maybe this is a new job wherein na-attract ka or na-in love ka dito sa person naka, naka-connect mo na may kinalaman sa iyong job or you know, maybe may money talk because I can see money here and the full some of you the full, this is showing to me as I don't know it, it looks like the black moon Lilith yung energy niya. So, may rebellion. Some of you, it's like you're willing to take the risk with regards sa person na ito and you really want this person. In love ka talaga sa kanya. The world is here. So, maybe ito yung person na pag nakita mo siya or kung, kung hindi naman kayo nakikita kumbaga sa online, maybe of course, may mga online jobs, so may mga meetings online, so pwede ganun or maybe your teammate um, or anyone actually, pwede, basta may money talk kahit hindi naman siya may kinalaman sa trabaho, but I can see you being in love with this person and nabubuo yung araw mo with the world, parang nakakompleto yung araw mo, but nagkakaroon ng connection or pag nakikipag communicate itong taong ito sa'yo okay and <clears throat> sometimes you're focus on money or you're focus sa iyong work but then hindi mo maiwasan na hindi siya tignan kung hindi mo siya nakikita sa workplace mo maybe yung photos niya this is the person na pwedeng tinitignan-tignan mo yung photos niya and like while looking at this person either through photos or through you know sa sa harapan parang may heart-heart yung mata mo parang gana you are really in love so ano yung um, yung energy ng person na ito nakakonect mo water sign Four of Cups is here. I 
I don't know, the, the, the energy is parang medyo may pagkatamad or stubborn. Or if not, maybe hindi niya alam yung emotions mo that this person is like pwedeng hindi niya alam. And maybe um, the ten of coins is here and at the you don't have your seven of swords, ten of coins. This could be someone who is magarbo. Ma ano siya? Ma. Pwedeng marami siyang pera or you know, galing siya sa family wherein may kaya or mayaman. Sabihin natin ganun. Seven of swords, there's this uh, things sa buhay niya na parang naiinis siya, naiirita siya. So, may mga tao or may mga bagay sa situation niya or sa sarili niya na parang gusto niya ng mag regarding dito kasi nakaka... parang nakakainis, nakakabuisit. Yan ang energy. And maybe it has something to do with the Ten of Cups, so pwedeng family related issues. King of Swords is here, so like parang nai-stress yun. King of Swords when I get that card, nakakaramdam ako ng stress, pagod, and might be ito yung nararamdaman ng person ito towards that. Ah, uh, emotions ninyo sa isa't isa. Hindi ko alam kung may migraine ka. I can I can feel a lot of um, pain in here, in this area. Kung hindi man ngayon, kasi pwede namang hindi ka, hindi active, or hindi, wala siya sa ngayon. Pwede once, or maybe in the past, naranasan mo na magkaroon ng migraine, like sakit sa ulo na parang this could be a reading or if not maybe you had an accident or may namalitaan kang accident na may kinalaman sa ulo or maybe an issues uh, or maybe a friend or a co-worker told you about issues niya regarding sa kanyang ulo or accidents niya regarding that. But anyway, kung hindi ka naman nakarelate dun, okay lang. The chariot is here, man of swords, and the uh, magician. Dalawang major arcana. just saw the planet Mars especially this September papasok si planet Mars sa sign ng cancer so there's a tendency na you will act according to your emotions because Mars is the planet of action and Cancer is like a very emotional sign so pwedeng Yeah, because you are a water sign so Ano uh, Kasama ito sa like pareho kanyang energy and there's an intensity na nararamdaman natin dito so some of you may mga actions kang gagawin na may kinalaman sa what's really in your emotions or ano talaga yung nasa puso mo ano talaga yung gusto mo you know over the ace of wands here 
Oh. I can see a lot of similar similarities sa inyo na itong person na ito, especially bottom of the deck is the six of cups. So, this is showing to me as like a balanced energy. Maraming pagkakapareho. If this is a person na hindi mo pa ganun kakilala, hindi pa kayo masyado nag nagkakaroon ng pag-uusap or you know. Um... Marami kayong similarities. The chariot, this is a uh, cancer energy. So, emotions more with this person is that I mean, I, I feel like you're, you're trying to hide this. Tinatry mong itago. Nine of swords. Some of you, you're dreaming about this, this person or may pagdaday dream about this person. The magician is also here, so there's a tendency na lagi mong naiisip itong person na to and there's a lot of fantasies about this person. Not only through dreams, but fantasies, so pwede, may, may mga times talaga na ano, na may mga nabubuong image sa utak mo regarding this person. And Queen of Cups is here. Knight of Coins and the Ace of Wands. This is the kind of person na pag nagmahal siya. Depende sa taong kakonek niya lalabas at lalabas sa sa sarili niya or sa mukha niya yung way ng pagmamahal na ginagawa ng person na kakonek niya sa kanya. Like, it will show. Pag tingin ko dun sa phone, I just saw the number 222. So, this could be your reading. Lalo na ako lagi nagpapakita sa yung number na yon And, Two, two, two is like it's 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 a number for duality. So, itong person na to will try to give everything sa person na minamahal niya. Emotions niya para sa yo is that. If this is a new person, I feel like tinatry niya lang din i-impress ka. This person wants to impress you. But some of you, if this is a past person, nakita ko dito ng train eh. Training with the sun. So some of you... Like, pwedeng gusto mo na... Like, gusto mo tong person na to, especially... Physically. And, um... This person, gusto niya rin naman na ma-attract ka talaga sa kanya. So, maybe ginagawa niya rin yung best niya na... Ma-impress ka sa kanya. But honestly, wala pa ako masyado nakukuha dito. Regarding dito sa person na to... If if this is a new if this is a like past person nakita tayo ng rebirth dito mm. Yung time will come na parang pati yung mga tao sa paligid niyo kikiligin sa inyo like I don't know that's weird pero may ganong energy na parang may rebirth And then time will come, in the future, there's this event sa inyong dalawa, wherein, but, yung iba hindi naman kasi yun, sweet event eh. Pero yung mga tao sa paligid nyo, pwedeng pati sila kikiligin. Yung as simple as nag-uusap lang kayo, but there's something between the two of you na parang ramdam din nila. So, what will happen in the future for you? What are signs? 
Hindi ko itong kukunin. Masyadong marami. Ito lang kukunin ko. Nakahiwalay. Temperance is here. Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. Nine of Coins and Six of Wands. Five of Cups. Major Arcana Temperance. Gusto kong makuha yung clarify. I would like to clarify this. Nine of Wands. What's with the Nine of Wands? Nine of Wands is clarify, clarified by the Page of Cups and the Seven of Coins. Clarify the Five of Cups. Two of Cups and the Devil. The Wheel of Fortune is at the bottom of the deck, followed by the Hermit. Nakita tayo dito ng friendship in the future between the two of you. Nine of Wands is like hindi ko alam ba't parang kinikilig ako din <laughs> parang kinikilig ako sa energy kaya parang <laughs> kasi with the temperance it feels like this is what you're waiting for parang ganun and in the future there's an event we're in it feels like parang bumalik ka sa teenager years mo seven of coins like kunwari lang na wala lang sa'yo but deep inside there's a lot of kilig alam mo yun so there's friendship there's communication na nine of wands it's like you're willing to there's a possibility na may battle or may problem or emotions itong person na to na i-reveal sa'yo na pwedeng like for example friendship. This person is going to tell you about yung personal na problem niya and then as a friend, you are there na okay, I'm here. Tell me. Parang gano'n. Although marami ka na pinagdadaan sa sarili mo, the nine of ones, this is showing us your own problems and na-stress ka na eh. Maybe um, sa bahay or sa ibang lugar sa surroundings mo, may mga sarili kang pinagdadaanan, stress. Pero kahit stress ka, pagdating sa person na to, may sarili din siyang stress. Tapos sasabihin niya sa'yo, pero sa'yo, okay lang. I'm willing to listen. Pero deep inside, in, hindi ka pa nakaka-recover sa stress mo nung, like nung kinaubagaan or nung kinagabihan. So there's stress in there. And with the nine of coins, this person is going to you know, parang help me, parang ganun. Or I need a friend, I need to, someone to talk to. Two of Cups, this is like a relationship. Oh, or partnership with someone. And the devil. Capricorn energy. Some of you, some sort of like a breakup or problem dun sa person mo na parang may kinalaman sa mga partners niya sa buhay niya or maybe a friend or ka-partner niya in sa work, sa career or pwedeng karelasyon niya. Sabihin na natin ganun. There's a problem there. Pwedeng may kinalaman dun sa karelasyon niya mismo being the devil here, being someone na magdudulot ng stress sa kanya and then you're here being the temperance like I can heal you parang ganun. I can help you 
may usapan sa inyo in the near future and it will be like it can bring this big change sa connection ninyo with the wheel of fortune so that's it for now thank you for watching i love you all guys and bye bye